Hello, I'm Hannah Wallace and welcome to Fenextra TV for EBA Day 2021. Calling into our virtual studio now is Vincent Brennan, Payments and Operational Resilience Advisor for Bank of Ireland, and Daniel Schmuckler, Director for the Euro Banking Association. So, gentlemen, it's good to see you again. Thank you very much for joining us. Thanks, Hannah. Well, it's good to have you both on. So we're speaking in the lead up to EBA Day 2021, which is, of course, fast approaching. And I want to start by hearing about your recent thought leadership paper in the open banking space, which will be very topical in relation to this year's agenda. So, Vincent, coming to you first, what's the purpose and objective of this new thought leadership piece? And are there any key findings you'd like to share with us today? Thanks, Hannah. Yes, well, in this paper, we've shifted our focus on digital and uh, open banking away from the what that banks need to focus on. So away from account information services, payment information services, APIs, strong customer authentication and those areas. And we focused on the how, the need for banks to strategically implement a digital operating model uh, to succeed in digital and uh, open banking. Uh, the paper is informed by our Open Banking Working Group membership, which is drawn from both our banks and our ecosystem partners. It's informed by our research partner, InnoPay. And this time round, it's really enriched by insights from 12 leading CIOs, chief data officers, and other uh, open banking experts from our, our member base. Um, so we're really excited to have their insights on the opportunities, the challenges, and their areas of focus. In terms of key findings, the headline finding from the paper is that digital banks are consistently focused on their customers. They understand the value of their data. They open up to leverage ecosystem opportunities. They're enabled rather than constrained by their technology. And finally, they're agile. They're able to react at speed and adapt to changes in their environment. Um, that insight is, is useful, but what's really helpful then is it's backed up by the practitioner insights from the uh, CIOs and CDOs. It's supported by an operating model framework that those banks are implementing and gives insights in terms of areas like culture, organization structure and ways of working. And there's even a detailed activity based operating model uh, to support the analysis. And finally, the paper provides insights on the most common challenges that banks are experiencing as they're making this digital transformation journey. So focusing on areas like culture change, agile transformation, technology, et cetera. And then finally, the paper provides key operating model implications for banks that are trying to accelerate their open banking programs. So things like the need to adopt an API mindset, the need to have a central open banking center of excellence, but that enables and empowers businesses and product teams locally and that ensures that uh, open banking is a strategic priority from the top of the organization. All right, some really hot topics there. Thank you very much for the update, Vincent. And now, Daniel, coming back to you, looking back at previous publications of the EBA's Open Banking Working Group, can you maybe highlight how the paper ties in with the others then? Well, th this paper inscribes itself into a long list of papers where we, uh, as an association of like-minded practitioners, try to help our member banks to compete in a fast moving, crowded and global business uh, that's characterized uh, typically by an unclear outcome of competitive forces. So it's a thought leadership paper that um, looks really at how the, the operating model of banks is changing, right? Uh, what new skills they require in particular with regard to data scientists, API managers, AI engineers, and therefore it is part of a journey that uh, banks have started uh, many years ago, which we called it the transformation journey to a, a, a digital strategy. And so we have had uh, in previous uh, papers, we have had um, angles that were uh, very much focused on individual technology. So we had a paper that looked at APIs and how do they actually work and then uh, what's their relevance in the business context. We had uh, a paper on the digital customer uh, services interface um, that really looked at the channels, how they are evolving and how so say digital channels are becoming increasingly important and the interoperability of um, the digital interaction. 
Uh, we also had a paper on digital trust. So we looked how um, the goodwill that uh, banks have today with their customer base can be transferred from uh, their analog business to a digital business. So also uh, empowering uh, their digital interactions uh, with, the, with, the, with the trust relationship they, they have, which is a great and important asset. And so you see it, this paper really inscribes itself in, on the long list uh, throughout the past uh, five, six years that we have researched on this topic of open banking. And uh, it sets the scene basically for the development uh, within the banks of new services that enable new streams of revenues that are really uh, native to the digital uh, channels that, uh, that banks are, are developing. That's really interesting and good to get a history of the research there. And so Vincent, what's next then? What's next on uh, your agenda and what can we expect? Well, Hannah, at a personal level, I'm stepping down from my role as Ch Deputy Chairman of the Association and from my Chairmanship of the Open Banking Working Group. Uh, this coincides with the end of my career at Bank of Ireland. Um, I expect after a substantial downtime this year, I'll uh, re-emerge in the industry late this year, early next year, and stay active in the industry at a thought leadership or strategy level, as well as at the implementation and operations level. Uh, but coming back to the Open Banking Working Group, that will move on to a new chairperson from the EBA board. And I expect that the next publication will be informed by a combination of the our member and market reaction to this paper, the ongoing monitoring of developments in the marketplace, and direction from the board. Uh, but as we've talked umpteen times through this uh, Finextra channel, there's no shortage of thought leadership topics in the space of digital and open banking transformation uh, for banks and for the industry. So watch this space, I think it's safe to say. Uh, gentlemen, it's been really good to touch base again and hopefully uh, next year we'll be face to face. But for now, we'll leave it there. Thank you very much. Thank Thanks, you. Anna.